a fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam, destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. <sighs> but <laughs> that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. Welcome back, everybody. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. We are jumping into Night Springs now, finally. Um, there's a, this is three parts, so we're going to be doing this in three separate videos, and this is part one. It's Hi, me. Everyone. Could I get another Except for you. <laughs> the special brew that only you know how to make. Of course. Who else wants to top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, All right. please, and thank you. Guess we're, guess we're going to deliver some coffee. You don't have a cup. You don't get any. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner? Your bird sanctuary. And that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough. <laughs> Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. Okay, so that was a decision we could choose either or. I'm actually kind of glad that we get to play as her because we haven't, like, there's such a unique character with her leaving all the notes and stuff around for Alan, and you don't really get to learn a lot about her. Here so. you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Nothing else? Okay. Who else needs some coffee? You need some? Nope. Oh, here you go. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Well, thanks. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Yeah, that seems uh, like a big pain to run. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. All right. 
I like to think that she actually said that out loud too and it wasn't just in her mind. <laughs> Very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Oh yeah. Yucks. Forgot about that. Pie plates, pie plates. The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, we have our own ways of talking. Interesting. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. What? So is this part of like the book? The Matt return Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. Or is this like what her life really is? <laughs> You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. <laughs> but it's what's inside that matters, right? Oh, you still have to put in some effort. If you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. I feel like I need to be reading both of the options before I just click one because I'm so used to the rest of the game where it was like uh, you could use all the options. I so. get these plates back to the service window. There we go. Excuse me. Oh. Can I borrow you? Uh, it's kind of an odd question, but sure. Can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all. You're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the Writer's Crime Trilogy. I'll grab you a copy from the back. Okay, get the novel from storage. Also, oh, now it's unlocked. Okay. You better not crease any pages. Well, don't give some random stranger your book. Weirdo. What's this? Beat Poetry Night at... Night, Night's Diner. Night's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs every Friday at 8 p.m. Employee of the Decade Award in recognition of basically being the best at like everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress. <laughs> what? It's like fan art. Oh, it's so weird. <laughs> Is that Alan in like a, like a crop top Kitty, what is this? <laughs> I'm so it's so weird. All right, what's this? Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for the rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. It's not naming any names. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice in the whole city. Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Will Hurt. Bubba Swades. Okay. Well, where's the book at? It's me, your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. 
Okay, so the thing just spoke to me. Okay, so we don't actually have to get that. We just had to gather your accessories from the back room. Alright, I believe that's probably through here. There we go. Okay. My accessories. <laughs> Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Dude, this is ridiculous. Alright, what are we taking? My trusty 12 gauge. Fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. Okay. <laughs> All right. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. Okay, so everything. No time to waste. There we go. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Dude, she is crazy. Everybody's like congratulating her. The boatyard is this way. You better hurry. Go for the boatyard. It's the shortest route. Wait, which is it over here? This was my moment. <laughs> This is like a fever dream. Like she's just, I don't know. It's like she's just crazy. Leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. All right. Let's get through there. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Kick that door open. It's like a like a really <laughs> cheesy type TV show. Now, Almost. What the heck is that? It's great. Is that Ilmo? No, it's I not. Come to his rescue. What's Alan? Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common. And after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. <laughs> <laughs> she would like that, wouldn't she? Popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? Uh, I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my... What the weapon. heck? Oh. Wrecked. This is absolutely absurd. I love it. I love every second of this. Ow! 
Get out of here. Change weapons. This shotgun sucks. What the heck? Jeez. I'm gonna die. Oh, hold on. I need to fill my gun up. Jeez. Something else. Somebody else's. Are you still talking? up somewhere like a sweet helpless prince locked in a tower <laughs> but his fan and shining armor was on her way luckily one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me oh yeah up there okay i think I'm... long distance shot get wrecked i do like how the music starts whenever there's more people <laughs> the kid just kind of like lets me know what's going on. All right, let's see what we can find. Let's um make sure that this is reloaded as well. The shotgun's not the best. We have so much ammo. That's ridiculous. Uh, oh, there's a box here too. So I assume that we're going up to the Valhalla nursing home, which is Alan's house. Which I saw a clip yesterday from the original writer's room from Alan Wake 1, and it's very similar. And I didn't realize it because it's been so long. So I like how they kept it the twin consistent. The cycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused <laughs> by the untimely death of my spouse. Jeez. Okay, so we're completely full. We have 347 bullets for our shotgun. That is ridiculous. More haters. All right. Me and my writer. Oh, gotta reload, gotta reload. Back up, back up. Go the wrong way. All right, so there's more. There we go. I do like how you shoot them in different spots and they react differently. Crap. That one was. Can't forget the bullets. Damn it. More? There's at least one more. Maybe. Also, we actually got some rifle ammo there. <laughs> All that ammo that we have is for a shotgun. Is that it? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Okay, let's keep going. There he is. Miss me. I like how she's able to kill these guys without a flashlight, too, which is, you know, kind of funny. 
So there's a tracks there. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? He must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. Oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right. So are we going... Oh, it looks... Maybe the cabin. Unless we're just taking the long way around to the nursing home or Alan's house. Uh, what is that out there? I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site. But this time, I was banning them from life. <laughs> I love her character. It's so good. All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over this city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She was in sad state. The city of mine. But she was still mine. The filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. It made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out of the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up. His booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You. He reached for the pistol under his jacket. A six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it in a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs, like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. I had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed, the address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Through the twisting maze of alleyways, two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it. The jagged ends of wire ripped through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down in the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat lying, trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe? Bullets let go of the door handle, hands as up as they would go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt, a tr hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Sure. Bullet lunged for his ankle, a crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk. I call an ambulance. His words were having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. Insane. I raised my gun, level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay. Okay. You want the big man? Yeah. I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain. He spilled his guts. My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to, to know that... No, I can't say it curse my crippling, cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. 
Interesting. I left the alley, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with the information. I had what I needed. So there's like a little short s story there, but then there's the little note. It looks like that might have been from Alan. Or supposedly Alan. Of course, we did find out in the game that he never left her any messages. So we're still kind of up in the air on what that means. Okay. Let's continue on. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. <laughs> He's inside. I'm here. I've come to save you. Oh, joy. We can finally be together and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied. I said there were no more tricks. You're starting to piece me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Jeez, this is ridiculous. Torture ideas for Hack Brother car battery, solid potential. Pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell. Where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. <laughs> Gasoline, fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe we're overcomplicating this. It's ridiculous. That's too funny. Twin said he was down at the beach. Oh, I know, but I'm looking through all of his stuff. This is where he's been staying. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is gone. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? I don't think it can. Nothing in here. Oh, that was creepy. The mirror. Okay, I am going to discard this. Because there's some more ammo downstairs that I couldn't pick up. I'm not like we need all this stinking ammo anyway. Oh, there's something here. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Becoming the alpha. Everything you need to know about. No, to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. TJ Wolf. TJ Wolf. <laughs> of course. I have to get down to that beach and get my rider back. Yeah, I know. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. <laughs> oh, please. Life is not unlike a highway. This, okay, this is, this is great. This is absolutely great. I love this. It's like they just let all out in this, this part of the, uh, I'll scare them a little bit before I go down there. But yeah, they just kind of like let all out in this, the Night Springs part. What's up, you jerk? Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish <laughs> intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Uh, you are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. Your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. 
doomed! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Oh, here we go again. My famously keen perception. I had to get to my rider's mansion as fast as my chunky kitten heels would take me. And off first. Did you say cereal box? That's what it sounded like. I've never, have I never dodged perfectly in this game? Or is that new to just this, where people fall over? My gun's hungry. My gun's hungry. Jeez. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that guy. down. Where you at? Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Pretty brutal. Let's find out. This way? No. I think we go up. Go back up the, uh, the stairs there, I think. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. <laughs> My writer believed in me. I could listen to him all day. Together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. <laughs> we were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. Oh, there you are again, Mr. Big Boy. If I have okay, to stop just... you myself, I will. You won't do anything. I'm afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's great. I don't want the hearts. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge those. Oh, 
Miss me. Breaking your heart. You'll never get me, you'll never get me. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, there you are. What the hell? I'm so confused. <laughs> My motorcycle's also a werewolf. Okay, so I can shoot those. Okay, that makes sense then. Let's keep the shotgun out then. Got him. Wait, talk to him. It's still my objective. Can I go? There we go. Okay. You gonna say sorry, you jerk? Finish me off. I would if it would let me. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent. His money. His velvety hair. <laughs> Mostly. That he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Silly werewolf, you could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Yeah. Words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. <laughs> all right. Reach the top floor of the mansion. All right. I'm keeping the shotgun out. It's just... Just way easier. Can't pick anything up. It's fun. Dude, just blow chunks of them away. Ridiculous. That ammo. Okay. All these books. Everything in here is a lot different too. There's like... The jukebox and stuff's gone. It's all a completely different layout. Well, it's not a different layout, but different different stuff into the rooms.
Dude, I love just how fast this shotgun shoots. Gotcha. Okay. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. To inspire and protect him. He needed me, now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder, where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Round one.